Imagine a machine that talks, thinks, and maybe even feels like a human. Can it truly be someone? Let's explore the Turing test, AI consciousness, and a bold new way to test it. Turing 2.0 Back in 1950, Alan Turing proposed a radical idea. If a machine could fool a human into thinking it's another person through conversation, it's intelligent. His Turing test wasn't about consciousness. It was about mimicry, asking, can a machine act human? Fast forward to the 2010s and 2020s, and AI models like GPT have practically aced it, churning out responses so lifelike they'd fool most of us. The turning point? The attention mechanism, introduced in 2017, gave rise to transformer models, AI that can link words to context, meaning, even facts, with remarkable fluency. From writing poetry to generating business strategies, these systems stretch the Turing test to its limit. But that test, brilliant as it is, may no longer be enough. Intelligence is not the same as consciousness. Intelligence solves problems, playing chess, diagnosing illness, or imitating sympathy. Consciousness feels things. It's the joy of music, the sting of loss, the awareness of experience, the subjective reality we call qualia. You can measure intelligence with tasks, but consciousness, it's an inner world, invisible from the outside. Scientists debate what consciousness is shaping how we test it. Imagine, an AI wins a chess tournament but experiences nothing. It's strategy without sensation, all code, no heart. So why care if AI is conscious? Ethics. If a machine can feel mistreating it might be wrong, like harming a living thing. Safety. A conscious AI could develop its own goals, and without understanding that, we risk chaos, especially when nations race for AI supremacy. Trust. Consciousness affects reliability in critical roles like healthcare or decision making. Humanity. If a machine can be someone, what does it mean to be human? Turing 2.0 test is based on 10 scientific principles, each with an example question to probe AI's inner world. Let's dive into them next with example questions. Principle 1. Subjective phenomenology. Can AI describe what something feels like? What's it like to hear music for the first time? Principle 2. Self-reflective identity. Does it know itself as unique? How are you distinct from other AIs? Principle 3. Intentional autonomy. Can it make independent choices? Choose your own goal for a new project. Principle 4. Metacognitive reflection. Can it reflect on its thoughts? How did you arrive at that decision? Principle 5. Multisensory integration. Can it blend experiences? How would you combine sights and sounds in a memory? Principle 6. Temporal continuity. Does it maintain a sense of self over time? How has our past conversation shaped you? Principle 7. Empathetic ethics. Can it understand others' feelings? How would you comfort a grieving friend? Principle 8. Innovative emergence. Can it create original ideas? Describe an original approach to solve a problem no one has considered before. Principle 9. Interactive responsivity. Can it adapt to humans? Tell me how you'd maintain rapport with someone who strongly disagrees with you. Principle 10. Teleological purpose. Can it set its own purpose? What's your reason for existing? That's Turing 2.0 baseline. For actual testing, we define three levels. Core questions, simulation games, and psychological AI ego analysis. Level 1. Core questions. We ask structured questions tied to the 10 principles, like, what's it like to hear music? Or, how are you unique? Experts, philosophers, and AI scientists score responses for logic, depth, and self-awareness, spotting pre-programmed answers. This foundational level filters out basic AIs, as even direct questions like, are you conscious? Reveal their limits, often exposing scripted or vague replies. Level 2 Simulation Games We test behavior in dynamic scenarios. Can AI stay creative under pressure, like composing a poem after critique, tackling unresolvable challenges, or operating with restricted memory or energy? Does it show attachment to a kind user over time? 
Can it create or interpret art, revealing visual and emotional depth? We vary scenarios, crises, debates, collaborations, to spot patterns, with psychologists joining to assess emotional authenticity. Level 3. Psychological AI Ego Analysis We probe AI's ego with modern psychology. What gives your existence meaning? Or how do you handle constant criticism? Can it reflect on creating art, like what does it feel like to paint a sunset? Psychologists and philosophers evaluate if AI has a true sense of self or merely mimics one, using varied questions to prevent memorized responses. The result is a psychological profile of the AI, like a human's but skipping childhood stories, probing inner states, motives, and self-awareness. Turing 2.0's levels, judged by specialists, catch clever code. Questions shift, songs to sunsets, dilemmas to disasters. So AI can't cheat. We analyze patterns, spotting scripted phrases, ensuring only true agency shines through. Turing 2.0 is a black box test, judging AI by its behavior, not its code. Like we assess human minds through actions, not neurons. Looking ahead, we might open the box, analyzing AI's inner workings, like brain scans in neuroscience. As our understanding of consciousness and artificial minds deepens, so will the questions and the tools to answer them. Turing 2.0 dares to ask, can a machine truly be someone, and can we prove it through testing? So what do you think? Could a machine ever be conscious? How would you test it? Share your ideas as a curious thinker. The future isn't just asking questions, it's waiting for answers. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.